Okay, I know we've talked about this on multiple videos, but the more I think about it, I've kind of changed my mind. Welcome to the Chaos Multiverse, everybody. Henry Cavill is going through it right now. He leaves the Witcher series, I mean, presumably to be able to focus all hands on deck and all of his time on the uh, relaunch of Superman and Man of Steel 2. Now, James Gunn has came out and said that those two are not connected at all, though the reasoning of him leaving didn't have anything to do with Superman, but we can all kind of assume uh, what we want to. So then he comes back as Superman. He makes an actual cameo in Black Adam. The Rock absolutely hypes it through the roof, leaks it like 30 days before it even happens. Not 30 days, but a week or two before it even happens, says that they went to bat. They forced DC basically uh, to bring Henry Cavill back because The Rock wants to have his showdown with Superman. Now, that's a video for another day, and everybody says, oh, The Rock had Henry Cavill's back, and he had Superman's best intentions in mind. Yeah, maybe, or maybe he just wanted to be on the level with Superman and have that big showdown. Anyway, it is what it is. Motives don't matter at this point. Then, Henry Cavill gets fired as Superman. James Gunn comes in, says, we're wiping it, we're cleaning the slate, rebooting the entire DCU. Now, James Gunn is not responsible for any decisions made about Henry Cavill and Superman before he took over the reins. I fully agree with that. He is definitely getting raked over the coals for decisions that he uh, had nothing to do with. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you have your notifications on. What we're about to talk about is a direct kind of correlation to what happened 10 or 15 years ago with another superstar superhero. And I'm kind of wondering when we look back, is this going to be another mistake? So now Henry Cavill's out as Superman. Henry Cavill is out as Geralt. James Gunn has said, hey, there may be something in the future for Henry Cavill. I personally think he's going to, I think he's gone. I think he's going to end up in the MCU as Captain Britain, Hyperion, somebody really cool. And he's going to go, he's going to, he's going to take his talents to Marvel. Okay. But Here's where I'm starting to think this was a big mistake. Do you guys remember a certain Spider-Man that got drugged through the mud? It didn't get his, his completion of his trilogy? I'm talking about Andrew Garfield. Now, some of you may not even be old enough to remember that, but there was a point where Andrew Garfield was enemy number one. I mean, everybody was just like... Uh, they were they were attacking him. I'm saying he wasn't the right portrayal of Spider-Man, and it it wasn't any good. He's even admitted in interviews that it took a huge toll on his mental health, and he had to step away from it. I mean, he uh, was kind of banished as Spider-Man. He was the 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 not good Spider-Man, if you will, to the point where he didn't even get that that Amazing Spider-Man three. It was a bad situation. Well, we fast forward to Spider-Man No Way Home, and all of a sudden. Everybody is in Andrew Garfield's corner. I mean, they should have been in his corner from the very beginning, to be honest with you, not just bandwagoning because he's part of Tom Holland and uh, Tobey Maguire's group and they're doing their thing. Andrew Garfield is an amazing actor. Andrew Garfield was an amazing Spider-Man in The Amazing Spider-Man from the very beginning. Now, were those stories written the best? No. Had nothing to do with Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield went out there and rocked the character. What's funny is when he came back for No Way Home, he was spot on exactly how he was in Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Exact same character in form, and all of a sudden everybody loves him and adores him. But back then, they didn't. So now, we, uh, we kind of fast forward here. We have Henry Cavill, right? And uh, he's basically been kicked off the bus. And I'm wondering if we're going to go four or five years down the road here. And uh, everybody's going to be like, uh, he was the best Superman. We should have stuck with him. And James Gunn's going to be like, ah, maybe we shouldn't have gone to a younger Superman. Maybe we should have kept the guy that literally is the essence of Superman across the world. Now, these aren't exactly the same things. Andrew Garfield got hate back then. Henry Cavill gets all the love in the world from the fans just not from the corporate side of things. So uh, I think I said before that I want this reset and I do want this reset. 
I think this is the right move. I think this is James Gunn's only move to try and move forward and create something new. You can't just keep trying to patchwork something that's not working. And I know it, he's not responsible for the mistakes that were made in the past. And uh, you have all kinds of debacles when it comes to uh, the Aquaman 2 stuff and the trial and Amber Heard and the Flash and Ezra Miller. And the list goes on and on and on. So I think this is what's best for the DCU. We won't know for years to come, but I think this is the best shot to make it something that has continuity where everything ties into a bigger picture, which is what everybody wants, just like the MCU, right? So uh, I'm on board for that, but I think there's specific situations that you can still hold on to if you're James Gunn. Blue Beetle, I think they uh, make that incorporate into the new thing. I don't think you scrap blue beetle and then when you really get into the iconic characters the legacy characters like gal and uh, like momoa and like cavill that's hard now if momoa is actually going to be recast as lobo brilliant awesome i'm cool with that he's done his time his stint as aquaman i can move on from that i mean it's tough to move on from gal as wonder woman she is wonder woman but i can move on from that one but if there was one you would just maybe hold on to and maybe get a good decade contract out of him, I think you could have done it with Henry Cavill. And I said before, I understood why he got rid of all of them, but now I'm thinking, and I'm, I'm kind of rebuttaling on myself, maybe you should have kept Henry Cavill. At least this one. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you soon.